The Snapdragon Summit 2025 has concluded after three days of meeting in Hawaii. I was pretty excited about it, hoping they can announce some new processors along with some new devices from different manufacturers. They do announce the two new chips, the first Snapdragon X2 Elite Extreme and the second one Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Uh, apparently the Snapdragon X Elite Gen 5 is designed for smartphones, next generation smartphones. And the Snapdragon X2 Elite Extreme is supposed to design for those like Windows laptops and Windows devices. And the Snapdragon X2 Elite chips on paper, it look good. It has 18 cores and it has a, like a certain percentage of improvement in terms of like single core performance, multi-core performance, even larger improvements on the uh, AI performance. They did a bunch of benchmarks and showed some numbers there in the presentations. But all of these are very, very abstract. There, what disappointed me was there were no actual devices or products announced or at least a teased in the summit. And at one stage, this guy from Asus talked the two minutes like to the camera without any real devices or real product, not even a product name and product lineup. It's, it's just that's so abstract to me. Like he's talking about the Snapdragon X2 Elite is gonna be the heart of their new laptop devices, but there's nothing more concrete than that. And I've been using the Surface Laptop uh, Surface Laptop 7, both the consumer edition and the business edition for the past past year, a lot of my time at work, I'm, I've been using and enjoying these laptops. So I was really hoping there's gonna be some like news about the Surface Laptop 8, but there was none of the updates in the Snapdragon Summit at all. But still, there are some news we know about Surface Laptop 8 from uh, Windows Central. So according to this news post, we know that and also like from the Snapdragon Summit 2025, it's almost certain that Surface Laptop 8 and Surface Pro, the next gen Surface Pro is gonna equip it with the Snapdragon X2. Down the line, there's gonna be like X2 Plus, like just based on our experiences with the X series. And based on how frequent Microsoft is updating their design of the Surface Laptop chassis, I don't think there's gonna be any like visual changes on the next gen Surface Laptop 8. Uh, to be honest, I really like the design aesthetics of the Surface Laptop. I think it's really sleek and it, it's really good looking. And it is one of the few Windows laptops has the same uh, level of material choice as well as build quality as MacBook and MacBook Pros. Uh, I enjoy using this laptop a lot, but I think there are two things uh, I, I really hope Microsoft can address with their new latest the Surface Laptop 8. The first thing is the screen. I mean, the screen is great. The screen is bright, uh, even though the the pixel density, like the resolutions are a little bit on the lower side, the images and text can need a little more pixels to make it sharper. But in general, the screens are really good. But there's one big issue is that these screens are too reflective. What I mean is the Surface Laptop Consumer Edition, the screens are very, very reflective. There's no uh, anti-glare coating. There's no anti-reflective uh, treatment for any kind of that. And it's very reflective when there is a light in the environment, it almost very annoying. However, their uh, business edition, this is the Surface Laptop 7 business ed edition, there is this anti-glare coating. If you uh, look look at here, you can see the my studio light gets darker because of the, the, the layer, the anti-reflect coating layer. And I really hope this this can apply to the Surface Laptop 8, regardless if it's a consumer version or a for business version. And that's the first thing. The second thing is I also noticed that the Surface Laptop 7 Consumer Edition, the camera quality when you're doing an online conference call is not very good. I have a sample uh, camera quality clip that I can share with you. Hi, this is the camera and microphone test for Surface Laptop 7 Qualcomm Edition. Let me know how you think about the image quality and audio quality. However, they also address that in the Surface Laptop 7 Business Edition. And I really hope that they can use the same kind of high quality camera to the Consumer Edition this year, the Surface Laptop 8. Hi, this is the camera and microphone test for Surface Laptop 7 Business. Let me know how you think the image quality and the audio quality. 
I think especially for laptops like this, uh, equipped with ARM CPUs, that a lot of like uh, coding or project building is not a viable option for the CPU architecture. And the consumer edition is supposed to face the users that do a lot of like online conference and Teams meeting, those kind of nature tasks. So it's really, really important for Microsoft to address the uh, screen situation as well as the camera situation in the Surface Laptop 8. I'm totally fine if they stay with the current design and material choice. As I mentioned, these are really premium, high build quality laptops I really enjoyed during the past year. And the last thing I don't think is a Surface Laptop specific issue. It's the more about Windows on ARM. Uh, it's really about the Windows on ARM ecosystem. I understand there are more and more applications that can run on Windows on ARM, either in compatible mode or in native mode. But sometimes when it comes to some softwares that cannot be run on Windows on ARM, it was really frustrating. And I hope like Microsoft is like spending some of its efforts, continuing to improve this uh, emulator. Also, I, I understand it's a like chicken neck issue. And in previous years, ARM CPU or ARM processor was not as powerful as today. And a lot of like, software providers and manufacturers don't want to like spend too, much, spend too much time on this ecosystem. But if the performance and efficiency are as good as what Qualcomm claimed about the new generation of Snapdragons, that's really uh, a good news for this e ecosystem. And maybe it's the time for more and more manufacturers and, and app pro software providers to like kind of like either port their flagship apps into this ecosystem or spend more energy on this new platform. All right, that's everything I want to share. Looking forward to the Surface Laptop 8 and the new generation of Surface Pro.